Conclusion We first learnt what is a joint venture. So what is a joint venture? A joint venture is a business created for a specific purpose or for a short period of time. It is called a short term partnership and the partners are called co-venturers. They share profit and losses in an agreed ratio. Then we discussed the various differences between a joint venture and partnership. A joint venture is for a specific venture, a small project, maybe painting a house, maybe building a road, maybe having a stall for 10 days, etc. But a partnership is an ongoing business. Its activity, business activity goes on from day to day, day to day, year after year. Since the joint venture is a short term venture, accounting is done on a realization or liquidation basis and not on the going concern basis as in the case of partnership. Partners make up a partnership, co-venturers make up a joint venture. A joint venture does not have a firm name. A partnership must have a firm name. <clears throat> For joint venture, we need not keep separate books of accounts, but a partnership must keep separate set of books. A partnership profit or loss would be ascertained at the end of each year, but in case of a joint venture, the profit or loss is ascertained only at the end of a end of the venture. Once the venture comes to an end. Joint venture, the arrangement between the co-venturers is contractual. There may be a memorandum of understanding signed between them. In case of a partnership, it is governed by the Partnership Act. We then discuss the accounting for joint venture. One, where separate set of, with separate set of books for the joint venture which normally consists of a joint bank account, joint venture account and co-venturers account. A separate set of books for the joint venture. And next was no separate set of books. If there is no separate set of books, each co-venturer has to record the transactions. The co-venturer may record all the transactions. That was one. And the other one method was by which he records only his own transactions so in order to ascertain the profit or loss, he had to prepare a memorandum joint venture account. We'll briefly cover this. If you have a separate set of books, the accounts were a joint bank account, joint venture account and personal account of co-venturers. Joint bank account. Personal account, inflows and outflows of cash are recorded here. Inflows into the bank and outflows into the bank. Joint venture account is a nominal account. Personal account of co-venturers, this is a personal account. Joint venture account gives us the profit or loss. The share of profit or loss is transferred to the personal accounts of the co-venturers. And the co-venturers accounts are finally settled by remittance from the bank account. Separate set of books were made. If there are no separate set of books, there is an option by which each co-venturer records all the transactions. In which case, the two accounts prepared are the joint venture account, which is again a nominal account and gives us profit or loss on joint venture and co-venturer's account, which is a personal account. So joint venture account is debited with all the expenses on the joint venture and credited with all the incomes on the joint venture account. Co-venturer's account is debited when the co-venturer receives the sale proceeds. It is credited when money is payable to the co-venturer for share of profit, for expenses incurred by him, etc. When each co-venturer keeps records of his own transactions only, only his own transactions, then we need to prepare 
a memorandum joint venture please note it's a memorandum joint venture account this is not real not personal it is actually not an account it is actually a statement it is a statement and we prepare a joint venture with co-venture account what account is this the nature of this account is personal the nature of this account is personal it represents the co-venturers account with this we'll end our discussion on joint venture thank you